Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to more Leaf Green, and uh, during the downtime of Leaf Green, I've been, uh, I've been up to stuff. Got some new, some new friends, and we're... I don't even remember what, uh, what Pokemon I have out front, so let's check that out. Okay, and here are our friends. Pikachu, and got Butterfree, and I don't know if we had Spearow last time, but we have Spearow, so... Yeah, it's all good. It is all good. We're going to continue onward throughout this forest and fight shit and, uh, yeah. Get to that pewter city. So we can take on Brock. Take on that Brock. Take him on. Hey, it's Caterpie. What's up? You're going bye-bye soon. I'm gonna tackle you. Oh, critical hit. What? Come on. Well, it's a good thing it missed. Good thing it missed. So how are you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are doing, doing pretty good. Doing pretty fantastic. Some pretty awesome stuff. Uh, I will not change my Pokemon. I don't know why I did that. Re button reflex, I guess. Button reflex. So yeah, today is my day off. It's been, uh, it's been alright. I actually got a call from work asking me if... I wanted to go in. I actually haven't called them back yet, but um, I actually woke up and my back was a little sore. Seeing how busy it was yesterday, I'm probably not going in just because I want to rest up and make sure if I'm going to do anything like that again, which I will more than likely be doing tomorrow. I just uh, I just need to make sure that I'm in uh, not exactly tip-top shape, but I can survive it at least. At the very least, I couldn't survive whatever it is is going to go down. Which is always great, it's always good. I really wish we had, like, the bike or running shoes. Or just running shoes. Running shoes would be cool. Did you know that Pokémon evolve? Yes! That's why my Butterfree evolved from a Caterpie. That's, that's a very cool story, bro. And it's a Metapod. Let's use Bubble on it for fun. I wonder if this one knows Tackle. This one has to know Tackle. It's it's a trainer. It's trained. It is a trained Pokemon, so it should... Should by all means have Tackle. It's hard and I don't even know why it's doing that, because... Well, if that's the only move it's got, then that's sad. I mean, Harden's not going to do anything against Bubble, since Bubble is a... Special... Special attack. And, uh, Harden only, uh... Only ups regular defense against standard attacks, so or physical attacks. Charlotte Water Gun. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I I do want Water Gun, and you know what? We don't want Tail Whip. Tail Whip is a giant piece of crap. Personally, unless it's like a move that lowers the stat by two, then there or does anything by two, then there's no real point. There's no real point. Use water gun. Let's use that water gun. Let's check this out. Ooh, look at that. That was awesome. Good job, Squirtle. You are the best. No, 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 no. We will not switch. We will not switch. That is ridiculous. We'll use water gun. That's what we're gonna do. Wow. Water gun is boss. It is pretty boss. Pretty good. Good stuff. I was floating around YouTube a little bit yesterday, and I noticed that a bunch of other people were doing Pokemon Leave Green. They had pretty much just started at about the same time as I did. Some of them are a little bit further ahead, some of them are a little further behind, but, uh... You know, it's not too bad. I was actually surprised. I was like, oh wow, look, check this out. People are doing Leave Green. Same as me, so... That was, that was awesome stuff. It was very cool. Very good. Very exciting. It's good to see that Pokemon, well, I don't think Pokemon will ever really die out, but it's nice to see that Pokemon still has a, a bunch of life left in it. Still got a good following, and I got a potion. Good for me. I got that freaking potion. Probably use it at some point. You can't catch Pokemon that belongs to someone else. Throw Pokeballs only at wild Pokemon to catch them. Well, yeah, that would be kind of a dick move now, wouldn't it? 
And we get into battle right before the bug catcher guy against another Caterpie. He's great. He's water gun. He's water gun on it, and there we go. Problem solved. Yay. Let's talk to you. Let's talk to you. What are you doing? Hey, wait up. What's the hurry? Why the rush? Um, because you suck, and I need to get to the uh, Pewter City Gym to use my super effective attacks against Rockman. That's that's what's up. Weedle? Oh, man. Oh, fucking poison sting. I swear, if you poison... Okay, good. I don't know... I don't know what the hell is up with poison. Like, whenever I use a poison move, it doesn't hit for shit. It never poisons anyone. It doesn't do any damage. But it seems like whenever the enemy poisons me, or tries to use a poison move, regardless of whatever percentage it has of hitting me, it usually always poisons me on the first try, and I think that's a bunch of bullshit. Have you noticed the skinny trees on the roadside? They can be cut down by a special Pokemon move. Yes, it's cut. Many Pokemon live only in forests and caves. You need to be persistent and look everywhere to get different kinds. Of course. Do you know the evolution cancel technique? When a Pokemon is evolving, you can stop the process. It's a technique for raising Pokemon the way they are. Mm-hmm. Going a little meta there. Going a little meta. So we're on Route 2, and I don't remember if there's any new Pokemon over there, but we're in Pewter City. Let's talk to this fat guy. There aren't many serious Pokemon trainers here, they're all like bug catchers. You know, just hobbyists. But Pewter Jim's Brock isn't like that, not one bit. Well, that's good. We need a serial trainer, yo. That's what we need to do. Let's talk to these people, what do they have to say? I really want a Pikachu, so I'm trading my Clefairy for one. Uh-huh. Well, I've got a Pikachu, but I'm not giving him up. What? Team Rocket is at Mount Moon, huh? I'm on the phone. Scram. What the fuck? Fuck you. Yawn. When Jigglypuff sings, Pokemon get drowsy. Me too. Snore. Mm-hmm. I really... I hate Jigglypuff so much. So goddamn much. So annoying. I'm trading Pokemon with that kid there. I had two Pikachu, so I figured I might as well trade one. Yeah, well, you yeah. know. Hi, glad to meet you. That's unfriendly of you. How about saying hi back? So come on, tell me about yourself. I'd love to hear your profile. Tell me something good about yourself. What's your profile? A profile is written using four words or phrases. There's plenty of words to choose from for your profile. Actually, a profile is more than that. Four words comprise a sentence. So that's... That doesn't make sense there. The words and phrases are placed in several convenient groups. First choose a group, then choose a word or phrase. It's easier than it sounds. Why don't you try it? How about... no. Ah, oh, don't be like that. You can tell me your profile. No, fuck you. I don't care. Yes, heal it. Please. Please, that would be very cool. Thank you for waiting. No, thank you. Thank you, sexy nurse. Thank you very much. Hmm, I wonder if we should explore. Let's explore for a little bit before we go to that gym. Let's explore a little. Pokemon learn new techniques as they grow, but some moves must be taught to them by people. Okay. The Pokemon becomes easier to catch if it has status problems. Sleep, poison, burn, or paralysis. Those are all effective. But catching Pokemon is never a sure thing. Well, yeah, it's, it's true. That's quite true indeed, especially the legendaries. Those guys are assholes. They're jerk faces. Uh-huh. Uh, what are you doing? Spraying repel to keep wild Pokemon out of my garden. Wow, good for you, bro. Thumbs up to you. You are so cool. You're a trainer, right? Brock's looking for new challengers. Follow me. Uh... Okay. Let's follow this guy. Dude, you know, I was gonna go there anyway, right? You do realize that. No? Alright. That's cool. If you have the right stuff, go take on Brock. Wow. Well, way to go. And that guy's gone. That's fast. The fairy came from the moon. That's what the rumor is. They appeared after moonstones fell on Mount Moon. Really? Is that where they came from? The fairies came from the moon. Hmm. Pewter Museum of Science. Museum of Science. 
Uh, you know what? We'll check that out later. We might as well battle Brock since we're right here. Leader Brock. The Rock, whatever. Probably expert or something. Who cares? Hiya, do you want to dream big? Do you dare to dream of becoming the Pokemon champ? I'm no trainer, but I can advise you on how to win, okay? Let me take you to the top. Sure, why not? Alright, let's get happening. First Pokemon out in a match is the left of the Pokemon list. By changing the order of Pokemon, you may gain an advantage. Try different orders to suit your opponent's party. Yeah, well... Well, Blue's already been here because he's a dick. And uh, since these guys are all rock types, I'm good with my, uh, I'm good with Squirtle. I'm good with water. Water's good. Water's good for rock. We are good. In fact, we're going to use that new handy dandy water gun that we just got. Hopefully we'll be able to one-shot this Geodude, and we do. We're going to get a level out of, a level up out of it too. Holla. Raise the fucking roof. All right, good, good. No, why? Why would I do that? I want to sand true though. I, I, I do want to sand true. If I can be so kind. Oh no, scratch! What do I do? I guess I'll use bubble. We'll blow some bubbles your way. It's super effective. Who knew? Oh, sweet. Uh, yeah, light years is not time, dude. Way to go. You're an idiot. So, you're here. I'm Brock. What's up? I'm Pewter's gym leader. My rock... Ha ha ha. Oh, man. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. Man, Brock, you're not the only one that's rock solid. Anyway. My Pokemon are all... Oh, man. Wow. These guys did not proofread this shit. My Pokemon are all rock hard. Ooh, for what? For what, you say? Probably battle. That's what I would guess. And I have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all the rock type. Wah ha you're going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. I'm not gonna lose, I have a water type. Dude. Gonna soften up those rock hard Pokemon. That's what we're gonna do. Use that water gun. Use that water gun. Spray it all over you. In a very sexual manner. Yes, that's what we are doing. Alright. Well, that was... That was relatively simple. Now he's gonna bring out Onyx. What's up, dude? Can I one-shot you? Oh, and you're faster than me. How about that? I don't know. Can I? Yes, I can! Oh, because it's a critical strike. Man, check that out. Check that shit out. Oh, and I think I'm going to evolve, too. Man, those Pokémon got beat off. Like a porn star. Anyway, I took you for granted, and so I lost. As proof of your victory, I confer on you this. The official Pokémon League Boulder Badge! Oh! We are so awesome now! Man, we got that boulder badge. Check that shit out. Having Just having the boulder badge makes your Pokémon more powerful. I guess. It also enables the use of Flash outside of battle. Of course, Pokémon must know the move Flash to use it. And we got monies. No joy. What? Squirtle is evolving. Fuck yeah, he's evolving. He's gonna evolve into Wartortle. Wartortle is a boss. So cool. So fucking cool. Look at that. How can you not... How can you not be impressed with that? What a boss. Good shit. Wait, take this with you. I got TM39. Yay, what does TM39 do? Yeah, whatever. I just want to know what it does. Oh, it's Rock Tomb. It hurls boulders at the foe and lowers its speed. Well, good. Good job. Freaking good. Awesome stuff. That is great shit. So when we come back next time, what we're going to be doing is we are going to uh, gonna explore the rest of Pewter City and then eventually head over onto that other route and uh, check shit out over there. So 
thanks for joining me, guys. And uh, you know what? It's been fun, as always. Peace out. <laughs>